blessed and pleasant good afternoon, moms and dads, boys and girls. Welcome to another edition of Children's Bible Minutes, brought to you by the Anglican Diocese of Belize. Rafi, Muki, and I are excited to be here with you. Did you have a good weekend? How was your Sunday? I hope you had a wonderful time. We had a very busy weekend, didn't we, guys? We had a very busy weekend, and we almost didn't make it back for today. But these guys insisted that we run, ride, swim, jump, skip if we had to get here, and that's what we did in order to be here. So we are happy to be here with you. Now, today is Monday, the 28th of July. And guess what? It's the 20th day in the month of July for 2020. That's what it is. July is almost finished. July is almost finished. But you know what? We've had so much fun with you that we don't really care what day of the week it is anyway. Today, we're going to be listening to a story and a song all about the Good Samaritan. Do you know the story of the Good Samaritan? Well, the Samaritans were a people that were living in the area where Jesus was when he was growing up and he was doing ministry. And they didn't really get along with the Jews. But I will tell you more about the story of the Good Samaritan once we watch the video of the story. So, Graphy picked out the story and Muki picked out the song. So let's have a listen. The Good Samaritan. Luke chapter 10, verses 25 through 37. One day, a lawyer put Jesus to the test. He said, I know the law says to love God with all my heart and to love my neighbor as myself, but who is my neighbor? Jesus told him this parable. A man was on his way to the city of Jericho. Some robbers beat him. They stole everything he had. The man was hurt. He needed help. Along came a priest. The priest saw the man, but he did not stop. Along came a helper in the temple. He saw the man, but did not stop. Along came a Samaritan man. When he saw the hurt man, he stopped. The Samaritan man cleaned up the man's wounds. He lifted the man onto his own donkey and took him down the road to an inn. They stayed at the inn. The Samaritan man took care of the hurt man all night long, said Jesus. In the morning, the Samaritan man gave the innkeeper two silver coins and said, Take good care of him until I return. After Jesus finished the story, he asked, Which one of the three men was the neighbor? The lawyer answered, The one who took care of the hurt man. Jesus said, Go and do as he did. That was an interesting story. You see that? So let's recap, boys and girls. The Samaritans and the Jews didn't always get along. And they were actually enemies a lot of the times. But what happens is that Jesus was using the story of the Good Samaritan to show people that they have to care for one another. Mm -hmm. That is an important thing that we have to do. So in telling people about this story, before that, somebody came to ask to Jesus, ask Jesus what they're supposed to do to inherit or to be a part of the kingdom of God. And Jesus said, well, you have to you know what? love the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, all your strength, and love your neighbors as yourself. And so they tried to trick Jesus by asking him, well, who is my neighbor? And so Jesus gave them the story of the Good Samaritan saying, who is your neighbor? And the truth is your neighbor, boys and girls, is not just the person that lives next to you. Your neighbor is anyone who is a part of or a follower of Jesus Christ. And even those who are not followers are still our neighbors and we are meant to call, we are called to bring them into the presence of God and into the family of God. And so Jesus was using this story to show that it doesn't matter who someone is, we have to be good friends and good neighbors to everyone and we have to look out for everybody. I don't always get along with the people that's next to me, but that doesn't mean that I treat them badly. I don't always agree with people sometimes, but that won't mean that I care for them less or that I I love them any less with the love that God has given me to share with all people. You see, boys and girls, we're not always going to get along with people. We're not always going to see eye to eye. We're not always going to be friends. But that doesn't mean that we do not help someone when they are in need of help. To be a good Samaritan for Jesus means that we have to share the love of God with everyone, especially those who we don't feel like sharing it with. Yeah, it's easy to love and to do good things for the people that you like, but the people that you claim you don't like are the ones that need your love and care the most. And Graffy picked out a song all about that. So let's have a listen to the song.
Listen, <laughs> a good summary friend. That's what we are called to be. Boys and girls, one of the best things you can do for someone is to be there for them when they're having a difficult time, to be there for them when they need your help. And in the story, as you heard, then the person would have been beaten up, would have been wounded and left on the side of the road to die. And even though the Samaritans didn't always get along with the Jews, the Samaritan looked beyond the differences, the Samaritan looked beyond himself and was willing to help, even to the point that they paid for the man to be taken care of. And that's what we have to do. We have to look beyond our differences. We have to look beyond the fact that we will not always agree. And we have to simply be there for one another. And you know something, boys and girls, in this day and age where things seem so chaos with virus and sickness and can't go no way and use your mask and all kinds of things, it sometimes becomes frustrating. And we have to be there for our friends when we could see that they're getting frustrated. And we have to be there to encourage them that, hey, we will get through this together. So in order to be a good Samaritan, we have to be good Samaritan friends. I like that song. That was a good song, you guys. Now, we are running out of time. Of course, <laughs> as always, time runs so quickly when we are with you. And boys and girls, you know what? The truth is that while you can be a good friend for somebody, you also have to make your make sure that you surround yourself with good friends. Rev has some very good friends, not just Mookie and Graffy, but Rev have some good friends that are out there watching right this minute. And I want my friends to know I appreciate you and I love you very much. And if ever you need me, I'm just one button away. And that's what it should be, boys and girls. You should always make sure that your friends know that they can count on you. And your friends should always make sure that you know that you can count on them. And more than that, what better friend to have than Jesus? With Jesus as all of our mutual friends, we could make this thing work. We could all be neighbors in the kingdom of God. What do you say? Anyhow, before we run out of time completely, would you mind if we stop and pray? Excellent. Let's pray, boys and girls. Good afternoon, God. God, we just thank you that we could come into your presence and we could share in your word and learn from them. God, we thank you for keeping us safe over the weekend and for bringing us to this new week. And we ask God that as with all things in all time, you continue to walk right by our side because we know that we can't make it without you. God, today we heard about the story of the Good Samaritan and the question was asked of who is our neighbor? Help us to remember, God, that our neighbor is anybody we come in contact with. People we like, people we don't like, people who do good things for us, people who don't always do good things for us. Help us, Lord, to remember that we are to protect ourselves. And even though we are protecting ourselves, we are meant to also protect others. God, sometimes it's not easy to like a couple of people because they don't always seem likable. But help us to remember that while we might not always like someone, we are called to always love them with the love that comes from God. Whether it be our brothers or sisters who get on our nerves, pull our hair or pinch us when mommy's not looking. Whether it be a friend that said something that hurt our feelings. Whether it be a friend that doesn't say anything and that hurts our feelings. Help us to remember that through it all, we are called to love. That love is the best gift. That you gave us the best gift of love through Jesus Christ. And we are meant to share that love with others as good Samari friends to everyone. Help us, Lord, to reach out especially to those who do not know you those who are lost and far away from you. Help us to share your love in all times with all people. We thank you, God, that you love us and that you have called us to love others. We just lift ourselves and our prayers into your care through the name of your most precious son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, my neighbors that are out there, yes, even if you don't live beside me, you're my neighbor. Well, my neighbors that are out there, I had fun with you. Thank you for joining Graffy Muki and I for Children's Bible Minute. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow for another edition of this same show. Same place, same time. And remember, be a friend and bring a friend to Christ. Until next time, <laughs> bye for now.